Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I wanna to talk to you about a really cool tool that I just picked up at Home Depot this morning. It is a diamond tipped oscillating blade, which we're working on a house right now with cement siding. And I can't believe the difference one of these makes. I did not have this yesterday and I was struggling trying to cut through a lot of these uh, special cuts we had to make on the house. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. What I have here is an oscillator tool with a standard wood cutting blade on it, right? And I have a bunch of these beater blades that I bought on Amazon. I got like 30 of them for 20 bucks or something like that. And because I'm trashing these things constantly, so sometimes buying the name brand stuff, it gets very expensive, uh, especially if you just need some wood cutting blades and you're hitting nails all the time. The house that we're currently building on, we had to clear a bunch of siding. Well, it's all cement siding. I have a cement blade on a skill saw that I was able to cut most of the flat lines, but every time I got into a corner or an edge and I had to plunge cut, there was six inches or so of the cement siding that didn't get cut away. So I was basically just taking my oscillating tool with a fresh blade and cutting through the cement siding, which worked at first, but then not so good. So I trashed about four of these yesterday, trying to cut through things and it just dulls them out, burns them up, turns them blue and, and cuts all the teeth off. And I, I know there's a couple of sharpening techniques that you can do to resharpen these blades. I don't know how many of you out there do that kind of thing. I personally do not. Once I trash a blade, I toss it. So I started doing a little bit of research and Diablo makes this diamond crusted blade. Now it says it's for grout, but it worked just fine for cement siding as well. And so that's what I'm gonna show you guys is the difference between using this grout blade and using a standard wood blade, which we're just gonna trash for you on camera, right? So we'll start with a cut. For the sake of science, I'll go ahead and make two marks in this cement siding, okay? And we'll try to make the same depth cut. We'll do one with the wood blade and then we'll do one with the diamond blade and we'll see how long it takes and we'll see what what shape the blades in when we're done so let's go ahead and do that So that first cut went really well, and I can see it's starting to get dull, okay? So I'm gonna make another cut with the same blade, and then I'm gonna make another cut just to kind of show you the speed difference between brand new, because this blade was brand new. It had a little uh, silicone on it, but it's basically a brand new blade. So we've made one cut in it so far. So here, let's do another one. Okay, there's the second one. And I can see the blade is getting dull and I could smell the burn on that particular cut. So now I'm gonna make my third cut with the same blade in the cement siding. Okay, okay, you can see the bluing on the tip of the blade now. So she's starting to get hot and dull. And usually when you get dull, it starts to cause friction. And then it starts to melt things together. So we've gotten through three cuts so far through this. And you can kind of see the first one was clean and the second one started to burn a little bit. And the third one's burning pretty good by the time I got through the back of the siding. So let's for giggles, let's do one more fourth cut and see if we can get through this. Um, I'm actually surprised that it's done so well. It didn't seem to do that good when I was probably cutting a six inch line versus a inch and a half or the same width as the blade line. So maybe that has something to do with it. Okay, that time it tore out the back of the cement siding and the blade's getting pretty hammered. I don't know if you can really see it, but 
basically I'm out of teeth on half of this blade. There's a few teeth left. So if I get one more cut out of this, I'm gonna be lucky. And our blade's pretty toast. Not good for a whole lot. There's the backside of it. It's basically the teeth are gone now. So I got five inch and a half cuts. So the Diablo uh, blade, I had to use it this morning. So I've already got five cuts on it. I already have more cuts on this blade than all the cuts I just made on that other one, okay? So let's see how long it takes us to cut through with the same amount of cuts that I've had here. As you guys could see, it took a little bit longer to make each cut as we got through the first one. So the second one was longer than the first one, the third one's longer than the second, so on and so forth. So let's see how this one goes. Okay, uh, as far as timing, I don't know if that was any shorter or longer, but it's definitely a clean cut. And I think I can continue making those cuts as many as I need. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more, just for, for safety. Yeah, I'd say it's a little bit quicker as well. So there you go. So I kind of wish I would have had this yesterday because I would have been able to make all my cuts yesterday in the siding, plus all the ones I had to do today, plus any additional notching that I have to do when I go back to repair the siding that has to come off. So definitely a cool tool, definitely something worth having. Now, here's the shocker. This one blade was $40. So it is pretty expensive, but I'll be honest, uh, for the amount of time it would have saved me and the amount of blades it would have saved me, I probably would, would have invested in this yesterday if I would have been thinking about it before I came to work. So give them a look, Diablo. I found it at my local Home Depot. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Yeah.